of that donkey. That old man got tired, put down his shovel, and went back inside the house of Jabron. Because he was tired. <laughs> and after the old man went inside the house, somehow the donkey's head popped up above the hole. It's impossible because the hole was about 12 feet deep, deeper than that. And all that dirt that was being put on top of that donkey should have suffocated that donkey. But I don't know how, but the donkey's head got up above the hole. I told this story one time, and the kid said, well, the donkey just ate all the dirt. <laughs> Maybe that's too much dirt. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. You see, what the donkey did was every time that old man threw some dirt down the hole, <laughs> Right. Yeah. That's bad. You see, <laughs> some of y'all ain't got it yet. Because you still thinking, how in the world? <laughs> I forgot to tell you that this donkey used to go to church every Sunday. Sunday morning service, Thursday night school, Friday night Bible band, Thursday night youth night. One Sunday, the donkey even said, Mama, you know, I'd just, I just rather go to hell. We go to church too much. But when that donkey was in that home, yeah, yeah. he remembered that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to preach, ain't Pat? Don't do that to me. <laughs> when that donkey was in the home, yeah. he remembered after all those times of being at church, yeah. something that they talked about praising the Lord. Yeah. They talked about praising the Lord, and he used to see this old lady just. Jump up and down and just praise the Lord. Well, this donkey didn't know. He said, you know what? I'm about to die. So I might as well do what they tell me at church to do, which is praise the Lord. And that donkey started to shaking, the bouncing back, the praying. He started to shaking, the bouncing back, the praying. The shaking and bouncing back, the praying. But little did he know. Every time that old man threw dirt down the hole, he shook off the dirt, bounced back, stepped on it, prayed, and was at the top of the hole! Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all still don't get it. Give a big clap it up, clap it up, clap it up for the donkey. Some of y'all don't get it. The devil is throwing dirt on your life right now. Yeah, yeah. Those trials and tribulations, how many adult teenagers do I have? Your boyfriends, your girlfriends cheating on you? Mm. Making you feel sad? Depressed? Mm. You're moving a little bit too fast? And people think you are? Uh, <laughs> Fellas, sometimes you get on the computer and you don't want to, but you just WW. Know what I'm talking about. How much time I got left? Okay. I got 12 minutes left. See, the devil has somebody has put dirt in somebody's life. The devil has made somebody not be able to close that computer and uh, turn off what they're not supposed to be turning on. The devil has made somebody have anger problems that's messing up their careers and their life. Because I could have done that at that P.O. box place. The donkey could have gotten out of that hole and went inside that house and hit the old man with his heel or whatever his feet called. Foot. Foot. Whatever his hoof with his hoof. And they hard and they hang. He could have done that. 
But that donkey said, no. Thank you, Jesus, for getting me out of that dirt. But the thing is, you got to remember, the only way to get out of your dirt, young people, the only way to get God to have you back every single time is for you to praise his name. See, the bounce back in the prayer first, that's just a dance I made to show praise. But you can shout all over this place and show praise. You've been doing it since 7 o'clock. Some of these people got some dirt, had some dirt in their life, and when they came here tonight, they done shook it off. But young people, don't think you're weak. Don't think you're weak. This is important, young people. Don't think you are weak. You can ask God to give you strength. Amen. Let me take that back. Little man can come up to me and say, can I borrow $10? And I will probably say no. Because I don't know what he's going to do with that $10. He could go out there and buy a whole bunch of candy and get very sick. You can say, God, bless me with a house. Bless me with a scholarship to college. And God can say, mm-mm. Because you ain't built the relationship with him so that he don't know that what you're going to do what you're supposed to do with that scholarship. You got to build a relationship with God. I can say, God, bless me with a house. Bless me with a mansion. And he can say, no. Because I don't know you. You could, you could go inside that mansion and start a dope house. A trap. You got to build your relationship with God. That's when you get saved and when you start building your relationship by praising God, reading your Bible, praying after you bounce back. See, every time somebody comes to your place and say, you doing the most, all you got to do is say, baby. <laughs> and God is saying, I like her. He's getting to know you. You see, God knows us, Vernon, and now he knows Vernon. See, you all know of me, but you don't know me. You know me. You've seen me before. God created you. He knows of you. But he has to know you. And the second know you is the knowing you after you have given him some of your time. After you have built that relationship with God. Because if you sit here saying, oh, I'm going to bounce back after www. No, you're not. Because God is going to say, no. You're going to be able to do it again in five more minutes. You have to build that relationship with God and he's going to be there. And he's going to make you strong. And he will do it because I'm a living witness. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Young people, sometimes when you come to church, I don't know if you listen or not, but I know I did it when I was a little younger. I know I did it. But it was one time I did. It was one time I did it. That one time that I did is what got me to where I am today. And I'm not, God is not through with me yet. But where I am, yeah, I thank God. Young people, if you want to be something, if you want to be somewhere, God can take you there. But he has to know that you have the ability to bounce back and pray first. Because while you're going there, the devil is going to put something in your path that can slow you down. I'm a preacher. His calling was to be a pastor. And while he was starting to be his pastor, he got his church, got his members, but he had this issue with cheating on his girlfriends. And then he got married. You hear me? His girlfriends. Ever since he was younger, I knew this guy. Cheating on all his girlfriends. And I told him, brother, before you start pastoring, before you even start preaching, you need to get rid of that issue. Well, sure enough, he got married, got his church. And while he had his church, was cheating on his wife with a member in the church. When I tell you, young people, you can be successful all you want. 
But if you ain't got the ability to bounce back and pray first, God, the devil gonna put something in your life that's gonna bounce you all the way back to where you started. Now he calling me saying, you got anything for me? No. Because you don't know how to bounce back from temptation. And pray that God delivers it out of you so that you can be successful on your own. So young people, stand up with me today. I'm finished. Stand up, young people. Young people, stand up. Wait a minute. There may be a young person here today that might not even be 